Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. I am so happy you found us. I'm Lisa, and this is Creativity and Inspiration. How's everybody's day going? I hope you're having a great day. My day, not so much. My husband's been in the hospital, in ICU. Good thing is he was moved out of ICU, and so that's good. It's been rough. <laughs> Definitely been rough. So today, what are we talking about? We are talking about paper towel hold, paper towel rolls though. And really, I was gonna talk about toilet paper rolls, but I know a lot of people get freaked out about using toilet paper and crafts, and that is fine. Everybody's different, everybody has, you know, things they don't wanna use, and I get it. I can see, you know, both sides of the toilet paper issue. You know, some people say, oh, there's no problem using toilet paper rolls, and some people are like, Mm, I no, I'm not comfortable. Thank you. I get both sides, so we're just going to use paper towel rolls. And these are great because they're actually when you cut them in half, because that's what I'm gonna do. They're actually a little bigger than paper uh, toilet paper rolls, so that's always a plus, right? Having a little bit more to work with. And what we're going to do is I'm sh going to show you, and of course you can translate in your head if you want to use toilet paper rolls. It does translate easily, okay? No issue. Okay, the first way that you can use toilet paper holders or paper towel holders is these are flattened toilet paper rolls, okay? And all I did was flatten them and decoupage them and poke a little hole where it's like, you know, like a little pocket corner cut out right there. And I made these great pockets. And what you can do with them is stick journaling cards, you can stick tags. But what I really like about these, you can make as many pockets as you want. You can make it full of pockets or it can only be like one or two pockets, okay? And with Valentine's Day coming, this is a perfect gift. This is a perfect gift. The first way I wanna show, the first thing I wanna show you the first way I want to show you can use toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls and create something really useful and cute is to make this little book of pockets. It's like a little flip book and all it is is pockets. And all I did was I took, um, I had bought r cardboard tube rolls, like toilet paper rolls, but they weren't actually toilet. I just bought them from Amazon. I'll link them below. But I took them, I flattened them. Okay, this was their actual size. Just imagine them round. I flattened them out. I sewed one end closed. And then I poke a hole right there in the top so it'd be like a pocket and you could grab it. And then I made a book of them. It's six pockets. And it's so cute and it's so useful. This one's for fall, obviously. But imagine this for Valentine's Day, and instead of having journaling cards or tags in there, you could have gift certificates, maybe dinner plans, maybe a vacation, romantic getaway. Maybe if you want to propose to somebody, you could put, will you go out to dinner, freak them out, you know, or put, will you marry me, or something like that. Make it fun and kind of like a game. Okay, so these could be fun. For definitely for Valentine's Day, just decorate them with either paper or all I did with these was take, um, I took fall napkins and just decoupaged them on every one. It was super simple. It went super fast. And I'll link the video above so you can see how I did it. This would be a great idea for Valentine's Day, for Mother's Day, for Easter, for any of the upcoming holidays or just because. So this is what I call my toilet um, toilet roll or paper towel roll book of pockets. Okay, for our second way, I'm trying to see, I think it kind of tilted. I had changed battery, of course. For the second way to use these toilet paper rolls, you can make covers, you can make mini journals, you can make pages inside of the journals, all sorts of different things, plus, Honestly, you can do a lot more with these. You can make wall art, you can make mirrors, you can make uh, window treatments. There's like a zillion and one things you can do with these. I'm gonna show you these two other ways I had planned for journals today, but if you'd like to see 
some other ways to use these, just leave a comment down below. I don't remember what I said last. I'm not going to check the video. My husband called. First, what I'm going to do is cut these in half at their halfway mark. So, I am lost my ruler. Imagine that. And I'm just going to me woo, measure them with my little tape measure. And they're 11 inches exactly. So, we're going to mark at five and a half inches. Make sure you lock your tape measure so it doesn't do that. Whiz. I need three hands to do this. Okay. Fudge sickles. All right. So I marked that one at five and a half. Is this? They're both eleven. That's nice consistency in product. They are from the same batch of um, the same you know package of paper towels. So I would expect them to be very similar. And then again, we're just gonna mark at five and a half. Then I'm gonna cut with my scissors. Of course, if you want straight lines, you cut however you want. I'm just gonna cut. If you've been watching me any sort amount of time, you know. Um, Oh, good. You know I don't cut straight. But that's okay. Because, you know, we're all our own people. And I can't cut straight. Oh, look. I found my ruler. It was up against... Y'all, it has been a time since my husband went in the emergency room. Then the ICU. I swear. Okay, so I just cut this right in half. And like I said, these are bigger than toilet paper rolls, as you can see here. Because this was just one toilet paper roll, and you get a lot more with paper towel rolls. So that's a good thing to go with that. I'm going to cut this one too. I'm kind of flattening them because they're going to have to be flatted anyway, if that's a word. Okay. I'm going to set these two aside because I'm going to do something a little different with these two. With these two, what I'm going to do is kind of get the creases. I'm going to flatten them like that. If you have a bone folder, you can use it. You don't have to. I'm going to do this one as well. Because these are going to be the front and back of a little journal. But now, here's the trick. Okay. And what I love about these paper towel holders or toilet paper roll holders, whatever you call these things, these cardboard centers, is that they're very versatile, like I said a minute ago. They're super versatile for, you know, paper crafting. They're super versatile for or DIYing home decor on a very tight budget. And if you're into reusing, reducing, repurposing, these are also great because they do have a ton of uses. But I only had the two rolls. So I'm just going to talk you through a couple of more ideas and then we'll get to what we're going to do with this one. First of all, you could use a bone folder, get it nice and flat. You could even iron it flat. Put this between two pieces of fabric and you could iron it to where it's very, very flat. Okay, so that's always one option. To make sure it gets flat, you could spray it with a spray bottle of water. Make sure it gets damp, but not soaking. Put it between two pieces of fabric, iron it, and then you would have very flattened covers. Okay, one for, one for the front and one for the back. Then you could sew the bottoms and make the front and back each a pocket or you could sew the top and the bottom and don't have any pockets at all you could sew the top and leave the bottom open and have bottom tuck spots totally up to you and what you would see what you would do though is you would come over to the side here and poke three holes and then tie it use uh, key rings whatever you want to and have a journal like this this journal would be Five and a half because I cut straight and by two and a half. So you would you could have a little five and a half by two and a half journal 
just by doing the simple things I just said. Would be cute and you could cut your pages to fit, then put in your key rings or tie it and flip it and have a perfect little journal. Me, I would leave the pockets, but maybe you don't want that, you don't have to, okay? So that's actually another way you could use this. So that's an option, but we're not gonna do it that way. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our rolls now and we're gonna cut them again. I probably creased them a little more than I wanted to, but that's okay. So we're going to cut them again, and I'm going to cut them on one of the folds I just made. Okay. So now this is what I have. And this is, when I flatten it out, I guess if I turn this around, there we go. Five and a half by, no, five and a half by five and a quarter. So this is five and a half by five and a quarter. Okay, I'm going to do the other one too. And because you're using the same um, thing on both, you know, both halves are the same, they're going to be consistent pretty much. Okay, and there's another one. Now this could be a cover. Again, you could moisten it with some water and then iron it between two sheets of fabric. If you didn't want to iron it, you could moisten it and then put it between two pieces of paper, two pieces of fabric, whatever, and put something protective and then put books on it and it will flatten out. But moistening, moist, getting it wet will for sure help flatten it out. And then again, you poke your two holes on the side, three holes on the side, and you have one that you again could use the key rings on, tie it, whatever. Or you could use this as a cover and put your open spine on here, which is kind of all the rage right now in junk journals, okay? So a front and a back cover like that, that's perfect as well. You could make two journals, okay? You could do it like this, sew your papers right into there and have a nice little journal. And this one should be two and a half by five and a half. Yeah, another two and a half by five and a half, but instead of using two that could be pockets front and back, you're just gonna use one and that's your front and back cover, okay? So there is three different journals for you out of one half of a paper towel whole, uh, tube already. That's a lot of choices. Or if you wanted really many, like just little notebooks or little, um, you know how we make little matchbooks, cut this in half and then you would have like two little mini flip up notebooks or side to side notebooks. You could turn these into your little matchbook covers for your little um, paper matchbooks. So that's an option as well. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn this one into a little journal just so you can see how it looks. And this one I am going to turn into a matchbook cover and a little notebook all to go inside of our little journal here. So I'll be right back because I've got to get these a little flatter than they are. And then we'll be right back to create with them. And don't forget, we still have a whole nother roll over here with two halves. So stick around. Okay, guys, I am back from the hospital. And I thought we could make our little journal here. And this size is great to throw in a purse, a backpack. It has a hard cover. You build it just like we do all of our other pages, just cut them to fit. You can sew them in to the um, spine, which is the fold. You can staple them in if you want, whatever you know works for you. You can put pockets in this and then you have some place to um, put business cards, doctor's cards, that sort of thing. You have paper to make your notes, list, Whatever you need, but it's always nice to have a notepad in your backpack or your purse. So this is a great alternative. It could also just go in the glove box of your car 
or in the center console. And again, that way you just always have something for a note. You know, what if you got rear-ended? You could write, you know, insurance down, take pictures, whatever, and make some, jot some notes down. So this is a great size and it can be, you know, just perfect for that. So let's just cut these real quick to fit this. I'm gonna get them all lined up because I'm being lazy and I'm gonna cut them all at one time. Probably for a better cut, you would want to do them individually, but. And then just layer them in here. And like I said, I just use the same papers that I use all the time. You know, you could use music pages, book pages, whatever you wanted to. And then see, you have a nice little book with pages. And again, you could staple it right in, sew it in, whatever works for you. You could add a pocket. Again, just great for a purse, a backpack, a console in your vehicle, whatever you want to be. Now this one, you could do the same thing. You could make multiples of these. You could make them and put them inside. If you have a little planner that you always carry with you, but you might need some notes, you could make this. And there's always pockets in these. You could stick it in a pocket. And that way, if you need to jot down a note, your phone number, whatever, you would always have some paper. Now for this one, I'm going to cut it again down the center on the fold. I don't know if it's exactly the center, but it's where I folded it. And then you could do this and make an even littler notepad that would fit inside a journal. Again, a planner, whatever you wanted it to. And this one you could make into the matchbooks that we make. Then you have a nice hard cover and another type of notepad. So these paper towel <coughs> rolls are great for making all sorts of stuff and it gives you a sturdy outer shell there'll be a video of the finished items at the end now we have this other one that we cut in half and i was going to show you one more trick i'm going to use this one because it's already coming apart and all i'm doing is peeling it on the fold where it's connected okay and you get something I don't know, trapezoid maybe? I don't know, my math's not very good, but. And this would be good, you can make pocket out of, you can make a corner tuck. Let me show you. Say on this page right here, you could use this and make a pocket, it could be a pocket like that. You could cut it and make it a tuck spot here at the top. Okay. You could cut it and make a tuck spot at the top. You could trim it to fit across the center and you could have a pocket at the top and a tuck spot at the bottom. There's a lot of uses and you don't have to use them for journal covers or notepad covers. You could use them for tuck spots, tags. You could cut a tag shape into this very easily. There is just a lot of opportunities to use these cardboard centers. So guys, thanks for being here today. I hope you liked uh, this video about how to use the centers of paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls if you want doesn't matter and i just hope i gave you some great ideas about how to utilize these in your journals your planners anything in your car and like i said if you want more home decor ideas with these just comment home decor down below in the comments thanks for being here be sure and give this video a thumbs up also be sure and hit that subscribe button it would be amazing and i will see you next time bye